Welcome back. It's Gilbert again. Today, we are going to talk about representing data on a dot plot. This is Terry, and he works at the Manta Ray Tank. He is fantastic. Hi, Gilbert. How can I help you today? I see customers buying food to feed the Manta Rays each day. How do you keep track of the number of servings you sell in a month? Well, I use something called a dot plot. At the end of each day, I calculate the number of servings sold and add a dot to my dot plot. Can I see one? Sure thing. Here is the serving count for the month of February. February has 28 dates, but we are closed on Sundays. So this dot plot has 24 data points. So each dot represents one day and the amount of servings sold on that day. Correct. Two days in February, 50 servings were sold. Five days of the month, 51 servings were sold. Ten days of the month, 52 servings were sold. I see there were three days where 53 servings were sold and two days where 54 and 55 servings were sold. Correct, Gilbert. Why do you put the data in a dot plot? Great question. This helps us plan for how many servings we should order for the next month. I look to see where the most dots are scattered. I see a lot of dots around the 51, 52, and 53. That's right. So the next month we will order 52 servings per day. Thanks for your time, Terry. You the Mantare. Well, I fish you a good day.